It's Saturday, July 27th, and we're at the 17th annual large car, Top Gun large car shootout here in Rantoul, Illinois. It's early morning, see my long shadow? It's real early morning, getting here, checking out the big rigs, and there's some nice ones. I think they've got maybe 250 big rigs to check out. It's been a fun weekend film the light parade that's a great video all these trucks took off and went cruising around town with their lights on that was really cool and tonight they're supposed to have a light show and i'll be back here tonight filming them all while they're glowing but anyway the 17th annual top gun large car shootout here in rantoul illinois july 27th 2024 Check out the big rigs with me. Now we're so early. I think there's only one guy up up here. Everyone else is still in bed sleeping. Sleep. I'm so excited to get out here. And I've been out here for three days. And the sun's hitting the trucks just right. Look at the red on this one pop. That's good. So Mac Dog looks good. He's got a gold dog too. Uh, we got a boo boo. <laughs> I like that. Can't all be perfect, can it? Especially when you're working trucks. It's a good looking truck right there. Or little man. And I've always liked the stripes on these. 
the way they do these on the trucks. Stripe package looks good. See how it glitters in the sun? That looks good. GMC looks nice. Don't see many of those. Another Mac Dog. Out there for the crowd, get there. Yeah. Now you can't hardly get a picture of everybody walking around. Yeah, it gets busy. Madison International looks good too. Good looking truck. I think you guys are going to be impressed on uh, the quality of trucks out here and how many for a smaller town but it is a 17th annual show and like I said last year they had 220 trucks and it wouldn't surprise me if uh, they got more than that this year come from down there and yeah, like he said it, here in a couple three hours you ain't gonna be able to get a picture be packed it's still early morning it's been a long shadow You imagine back in the day getting in that little thing and sleeping and that's all they had back then it's tiny things got some good patina I keep this one just the way it is Imagine that's where it came out of new. How cool is that? It would be neat to know the story on this truck.
cool old Pete. Oh, that's popping in the sun. That's pretty. Real nice. Beautiful blue. I get a lot of comments on my videos. I'm gonna use this truck for an example. They'll say, well, how can he, how can he work or pull or do anything sitting that low? They'll be on an air ride suspension. When they come into the show, they'll drop down to that height. And of course, when they go to take off, they'll raise up to the proper height. But that kind of explains on like a truck, for an example, this one, how it uh, operates. It's easier to explain it that way than it is typing it out. So, hope everyone sees that. That's wondering. I did a short on this one. I'm not much into short videos, but a lot of people are. So I put together a short video on this truck. Pretty cool when he was coming in with it running. check out that video if you want to hear it running I thought this truck was cool I love those wings I think they're so neat and I'm not much of a blue guy either so uh for me to really like that truck, that says a lot. I really like that one. You did a good job with it. This one's got a lot of patina. It's cool. windows down but I'm not gonna stick my camera in there they may be in there sleeping they ain't gonna bug them that's pretty tell you what I'm I'm impressed with this show there's a lot of nice trucks out here and again especially for a small town But this show's doing something because this is the 17th annual. 17th annual Top Gun large car shootout in Rantoul, Illinois. You ever heard of Rantoul? <laughs> it's a small town. We were just down those rows. 
trying to walk as steady as I can but I'm on grass there's a lot of divots and ruts versus just kind of walking on the concrete so I hope it's coming in good for you If you guys dig these truck videos, I go to the Mid-American Truck Show every single year. I've been doing that for years. I've got gobs of videos out from the Mid-American Truck Show. You'd like. Another blue one, one of, or kind of a turquoise. What am I into blue today? That thing strikes my eye too. That's pretty. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh, Mid-America Truck Show. Yeah, if you're into the trucks, I got tons of videos out from the Mid-America Truck Show. Or mats as they call it. You'll dig those videos too. Well, she's stretched. I'm into stretch. I get a lot of comments saying people aren't, but I'm, I think it's cool. It's a look thing, rides a little bit better. wheelbase that's a long wheelbase right there it's a bad boy now, I know a lot of people aren't into that stretch wheelbase and I understand you know, I probably I don't I probably wouldn't have a stretch wheel base if I was uh, pulling for a living. Good old cab overs, love my cab overs, love the cab overs. Ready. Cab overs, love them. Oh, they aren't mine. Just a figure of ex it's just some speech there. They're mine. Love the cab overs. Wish they were mine. Keep threatening the wife. I'm gonna come home on a day cab single drive. 
something different. Take it to cruise ends. Another blue. Looks good. Man, I'm on a blue kick today. I don't know why. Looks good. Man, that thing just pops in the sun. That's absolutely gorgeous. You can see the sky, it's beautiful out too. So far, it's a nice morning. It's gonna get a little warm, but hey, it's summertime. I'd rather have it a little warm than getting the snow shovel out. good real pretty kind of reminds me of a creamsicle that's not a white it's it's yeah it's, it's kind of white but it's more of a got a little cream in it creamsicle and i'll start craving them here pretty soon probably have to go home and get me some creamsicles So got the long shadow. Uh, whoa, almost fell. Big old dip there. I filmed this yesterday they when they pulled in they uh, got every all all the riggers out and everything and then connected the flag and raised the flag up and what I like best about this truck it's a twin steer of course you don't see many twin steers I'm a little surprised he uh, closed it all up. Oh, I'm in a tow truck, so I think they're cool. I like very mechanical, I like mechanical stuff. There's something for you. Do when you I see the, this, this like the stripe this. package, for some reason, that there reminds me of the six that Buick used to have when they came out with their high performance V6 engines back when they were running in Indy. They had a sticker out with a six and it was a little bit different, but kind of the same stripe package. I don't know. That always reminds me of that. I know that's not a six, 
but it just reminds me of it. It's kind of funny how you can see something in life and it, it, every time you see it, it reminds you of something from your past. But it's a beautiful sky. Look at that blue sky. There we go. Nice. But yeah, there's no one here yet. This is nice. This is so nice. Oh. Oh, I remember this truck at Mid America Truck Show. Man, you couldn't get close to this thing. Get close to this at the Mid America Truck Show. I was wondering if he was going to be here or not. He must have just rolled in yesterday evening. So he wasn't here yesterday. For thumbnail. Wait a back later when he has him opened up very impressive engine that's a sweet I remember it in the light show last night too. Very impressive.
still got the long shadow. tell you what I'm really impressed with this show I've never been before this is my first time I've wanted to come for several years I've heard a lot about it and this is the 17th annual so they're doing something right for it to go on for 17 years And it's in a small town called Rantoul, Illinois. R-A-N-T-O-U-L, Illinois. And it is pronounced Illinois, not Illinois, even though there's an S on the end. A little trivia for you. truck of course I like how the stripes pick up the light very pretty did a good job with this truck I remember it at the mat show But back to this place, it's in Rantoul, Illinois, 17th Annual. Top Gun, large car shootout. I have to do some research on why they call it Top Gun. And the reason I say that is because of where this is held. It's held in an old, I'll show you here in a second. There's several of those buildings here. And that is an airplane hangar. This is an old Air Force, I think. I'm gonna look it up and I'm gonna get more into that. It's held on an old Air Force base, which is no longer. But pretty interesting grounds. But either on this video or another video, I'm gonna explain where this place is held at. Which also gives it a, a really neat atmosphere. Because basically, um, this is part of the runway that's right behind me. As you know, airplane hangars they sit off on the runway and right behind me on uh, some trucks I'm getting ready to show you here in a second they're basically right off the uh, runway I think three of them that I know of. A very interesting place. And behind those are all the not because of the way the, the sun is and everything it's right there that used to be active see, here. You got your numbers and everything that used to sit along the runway. There's a long runway right there. And they've got it blocked off down there with a bunch of stuff so people don't get out there. 
Not sure how many runways they've got. I know those are the three hangers right there. But again, I'll get into all the cool info about this place here in either the end of this video or another video. All depends on how long this is going to be. And this one might be pretty long. So I'm going to try to get them all before everyone gets here. So wish me luck. There ain't no one here yet. Here in a couple hours, this place is gonna be full. Yesterday it was jam-packed. And we just came from over there and did all those. Went around there, come back up this way, did those, and now behind me. Kind of back where the runway is. Something else that's interesting about this place is all along the runway, because I'm this is part of a runway too that we're on. All along the runway is this grading system for water. Goes all the way around it. Shed all the water. They get a lot of snow around here too. So not just a bunch of water, the rain, but a lot of snow too. Over here are the non-bobtails. They all have trailers over here. How you doing? Nothing. There's the goose, the 96 Freightliner goose. I think they're everywhere. They're good people. There's our sign they always have out. 96 Freightliner, classic XL, Detroit engine, 700 horse, 13 speed, 373 rears. 351 wheelbase and 140 custom sleeper. Big custom sleeper it is. The goose. Like any truck show I've ever been to, they've been. They go a lot of places.
Motors, let's get an old Sally and take off for the week. Oh, first thing I thought of when I saw Sally is long, tongue, long, tall Sally. I don't know why I thought of that. Long, tall Sally. to do models. I know there's a lot of truckers watching this. Man, there's a lot of models out there on the market. If you guys want to build models, I show models on my channel if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about. back into my model building this winter like I just got a package arrived a package just arrived at the house too someone sent me some cool truck parts that I'm going to show you you have to check out I'll get that video up this week I think you'll like the truck parts he's making there's another one I like this event too it's pretty to my models of truck parts there's gobs of truck models out there to build you guys want to get into building models and modeling's come a long way so don't be thinking of us for kids because uh it's mostly us older guys building models now we very seldom see kids doing it you know what kids are into, they're into their own thing. In fact, you can go back to one of my videos on this channel, and I do a lot of model contests. And just check out a model contest, man. You'll be amazed at the detail in these models. I get a lot of comments that say, wow, you can start that thing up. All it needs all is missing is gasoline. That's right. A lot of cool models out there. Well, trucking's come a long ways with all the aerodynamics. The thing looks like it just cut through the wind. See my shadow still long. I figured there'd be more dew on the trucks. My feet are soaked because the grass is all wet.
Uh, big old dip. Trucker girl. On the paint. Good looking truck. Trailer's all pinstriped. How cool is that? All the way down. amazes me is keeping that thing clean. Like, wow. Either that or they have it professionally clean maybe once a year. I don't know. I cannot imagine trying to keep that thing clean. I mean it's hard enough to keep the truck clean. It's hard enough to keep the car clean. This trailer's amazing.
sense to the right of the red looks good. And I got real quiet. <laughs> you want me to sing? Uh-oh, we're all gathered around the end one for some reason. What's going on? Oh, they're cleaning. Getting the bug guts off. Getting the bug guts off. I've shown so far every truck. Wonder how many there are. Has anyone been counting? And I'm gonna show every truck here, so it'll be interesting. I'll go back on this video when I edit it and probably count everything. I don't know. The other nice thing about this show is uh, plenty of golf carts to get, and a lot of people run golf carts running around. The show's kind of spread out too, so golf cart's a pretty good idea. Again, you know, how do you keep that tank clean? There ain't a mark on that thing. It's absolutely, it's a mirror. It's amazing. That is amazing.
These old Ford 9000s. Good old trucks. You just don't see many of them. Cab hover. Yeah. Oh, Pete. That's cool. I'm a hood ornament junkie too. And I started collecting hood ornaments when I was a little kid. Ended up getting rid of them when I moved about 10 years ago I had literally hundreds and hundreds of hood ornaments from old cars it's amazing how much stuff you find out you have when you move They just ended up being in boxes. It's like, why well, have all this now? I think the only thing I got left from when I was collecting when I was a kid are beer cans. I kept my beer can collection. It's on a wall. How many of you collected beer cans back in the day? It was a popular thing in the uh, 70s, collecting beer cans. I think the only reason I kept the beer cans is because I could display them in the garage on the wall. Took up a pretty good spot or space. Are you guys enjoying this video so far? I hope you are. You know, and if you're liking it, hit the subscribe button because I do a lot of this stuff. If it's not truck shows, it's car shows. If it's not car shows, it's models and model contests. And like I said, I'm going to get back into building my semis and I'm going to reveal some very cool semi parts that were sent to me here probably in just a few days. Or it may be out now as you're watching this video. Because I'm telling you, there are a lot of cool truck models to build, guys. And 124th scale, 125th scale. 
and this gets me jazzed up to build models. That's what I do in the winter. Hit all the car shows and truck shows in the summer. And in the winter, build models. Stay in where it's warm. I'm too broke to go to Florida in the winter. <laughs> and we don't have anything going on in, this, in the winter for car shows. So I stay in where it's warm. pig horn ornament that's cool I like that I always like it when they put the pleat on things too or the, or the diamond cut whatever you want to call it had a 54 Ford had a piece that sat in my wheel well that was cool it was white Hot Rider's Touch. You're all right. I'm sorry. You're okay. I come walking out the door and just Look. try to get, I'm trying to do daddy duties this morning. They all want your autograph now when yeah. they see you on TV. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did, I caught him right when he was coming out. Stop back later. My wife's still. Yeah. Side door open. Oh, okay. And you can just go on up in. Okay. Because I, that's what I do when I'm at shows. I just let people go in. Okay. All right. Cool. Thank you. You're well, I'll have to check that out. Get it going to sleeper. Low expectations. We just come from down that aisle earlier. Remember when I was showing the goose? We're heading that way, did some stuff, went across, come back down this aisle. That's a pretty combo some right here. trucks back there. That's real nice. Very nice. shot of that sky with the hood on it. 
beautiful sky still. Uh oh, cab over. You know, I love cab overs. Another one. Nice. More hot rod touches. Love it. I like putting them on my uh, semi models too. Uh, more hot rod touches. What a cool show! 17th annual. Top Gun Large Car Shootout in Rantoul, Illinois. And this is early Saturday morning, July 27th, maybe? Oh, where does the time go? You believe July is almost over? Of course, when you're watching this, who knows what date it will be. I'm filming this and the year is going fast time goes way too fast now truck I like that nice no number no nothing though looks like it's in great condition story is on this truck. This old Pete's for sale. I'd say he just picked these up somewhere. He's gonna take them and sell them. Let's say he just got them. It's called barn find probably. Been sitting for a long time. I don't know. This area over here that I've been filming for a while is just called the Warshin Park. You just kind of come in, maybe clean her up a little bit and just park. You're not competing or anything. It's kind of a low-key show.
is interesting. It's called Elvira. Sweet. Unpleasant dreams. I like that. Them big old stacks. Man, if you're digging on this content, make sure to subscribe. You don't want to miss the videos that I've made and that's coming out. Oh, it's only early enough in the morning. There's some kick-ass <laughs> bitch. Still rolling in. There's a woman bringing it in here for you to yield it. She can fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> she woke me up at 4 o'clock this morning bitching me out. They're <laughs> still rolling in. All right, this one's parked way out there. I saw this one come in the other day and I thought it was a really neat truck. Pretty neat color combo. Love the stripes. No freight shaker. Good looking truck right there. Tell you what, there's something about this Pete I like a lot. I've passed it quite a bit this weekend. He's on a good spot. He's here on a corner. I don't know. It's it's a Pete. It's red and white. Trimmed a little bit of gold. It's pretty. I gotta show it again. I like that. Look at the truck. It's got my tank covers on too. Thing. I think it's uh, the way the sun's hitting it right now. Very pretty. All right, I've showed it several times. We're moving on. and get them opened up now.
Has anyone counted how many trucks there are yet? I've lost count. I've showed every single one so far. They said they got out of here about midnight. I got out of here probably, probably 11. Stayed, filmed the uh, light parade. Almost all these trucks took off. And they all gathered up and then went down that way and on out of this place and out on the main roads and everything. And were police escorted through the city with a uh, light show or a light parade. It was cool. I filmed it. So if you want to see it, check out that video. It's, <laughs> trust me, you don't want to miss it. It's, you just sit back and watch the trucks roll by. It was awesome. Right there, that green truck, that's where we started off. Oh, there's a truck parked next to it now. It looks like a cab over. There are two trucks parked next to it. Like I said, they're still rolling in. We're gonna have to get back over there and get going. Oh, check this out. out. Again, either in this video or another video, I'm going to explain the story on the grounds of where this show is taking place. You can, as you can see, there's three airplane hangars. So that gives you a hint on where this is taking place, or what the grounds are. And those airplane hangars are not being used anymore. come from I wonder where they're going nice I'm doing good how you doing way out here there you go all right what we got getting her all cleaned up for the show i know he ain't gonna park way out here this is way off the beaten path he's all the way out in front of this hangar let's get back over the two cab overs Uh, we're back in the GPS. 
another hot rod touch. I had that on some muscle cars. The foot pedal. Love it. And if you're digging this content, and like trucks or, or muscle car videos, I got a lot of them on my channel. Make sure to subscribe to check them out. Or at least just go back and check them out. I think you'd be glad you did. I got a lot of footage of several shows. Remember the very beginning of the video? The green truck? We're back at it. We have made a complete lap. How many trucks did I film? I ought to do that as a trivia question. I'd say winner gets a prize, but I don't know what to give away. This one's all open. We made a lap. Good looking truck. Woodwork looks nice. It's real nice. All the inlay. Good looking truck. You can see this has mileage. See the seat? How it's wore? The driver. It's the driver. All right. <laughs> Seven blocks from them in the shop. Seventeenth annual, twenty twenty four Top Gun large car shootout here in Rantoul, Illinois. It's a great show. This is the cleanup lot, and they're still rolling in.
got a wash crew. Oh, this wash crew is busier than heck yesterday. I mean, they were lined up and all the way around. That's where we were just a second ago, watching pilots the aluminum. Gotta get those stacks way up there. Use them long rods to scrub them. All right, that answers a question that we had earlier. We saw these two roll by earlier in the video. I wonder where they were going to. Going to the cleanup lot. Comes another one in. Oh, looks good. Show. Yep, good old cleanup lot. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Check out all my other truck videos. From this show and Mid-America Truck Show, I've got a bunch of them. We'll see you guys on the next truck video on Throttle Power.